Hi, I'm Tim and it might surprise you but these aren't the first seconds of this video. Actually, most of my other videos, most of my recent videos have a second or two I'll always cut in editing. It's something that most of the big YouTubers actually do subconsciously and I'm also succeeding in it sometimes, usually during long takes. And it's something you can actually practice as well. So, Hi, Hi. welcome. You guessed it. I'm faking a smile and although it looks cringe, I'm coming with a friendlier approach having a smile on my face than not having one and I have a lot of videos where I look depressed and Hi everybody. you can go ahead and watch them, I've experimented with it over the years but a smile isn't just for video, it's actually also for photography so let's talk about how you can practice it and actually become a better photographer with a smile on your face and unleash its power. A smile might seem irrelevant in photography but it can meet us in the most unexpected ways and although we can't really get feedback or measure a smile we cannot deny its benefits. And I'm coming from a perspective of a street photographer where usually you take photographs of people and they don't notice you but when they do... In these situations a smile can be very beneficial because you convey friendliness. The last thing you want to do is take your camera and hide or make it as if you're not taking a camera or hide yourself. You look like a creep, you look like a freak, you look like you've done something wrong but you didn't do anything wrong. We know we didn't do anything wrong but they don't and you need to convey that to that person. How you do it is you fake it till you make it. And I have two stories, both ha actually happened in Vienna. The first one is a father that was with his daughter, she sat in a stroller or something and she was pointing at the church and just the act of pointing and the father looking so immersed in the moment was a very nice candid moment so I photographed it, it was very fun it, it was right in the middle of a very busy square in Vienna so I didn't really stand out but the father did look at me because parents can be very protective of their children I can really understand that so I smiled back because I want to convey friendliness I'm not doing anything wrong here and he looked at me at the most weird way ever I really felt like I was a criminal and I really wanted to hide away but I kept smiling and kept walking back hoping he wouldn't punch me in the face or something and it worked but I do have another case where actually the same day I was walking in the street right in the morning and it was a very quiet street and a woman was walking with her dog and she was walking like next to a line and the pavement was very thin so it was a very nice leading line so I crouched and took the photograph from waist level and I took a few photographs because I wanted her to come closer and she looked at me obviously I was the only one there so I smiled back guess what she smiled back as well she didn't ask me what I was doing she didn't say anything we just exchanged smiles and she continued on with her day it was a beautiful moment and it was sort of like a confirmation for me that everything is alright. And speaking of alright, you can also like this video, you know, thumbs up. Although it might be weird sometimes, it can also be very good for you and for the people around you. So fake it till you make it, train it, go out there and do your thing. This is the second video in an ongoing series about the philosophy of photography. So you can check the first video which talks about the art of chutzpah and how you can be bold about your photography and take photographs you didn't imagine you can. Or you can check the next video once it's out. I've been Tim and I'll see you next week. Bye!